Free Software Magazine, also known as FSM and originally titled The Open Voice, is a website which produces a generally bi-monthly, mostly free content easing about free software. It was started in November 2004 by Australian Tony Mobley, the former editor of Tux magazine, under the auspices of the Open Company Partners, Inc., based in the United States of America, and carried the subtitle The Free Magazine for the Free Software World. History FSM was originally conceived by its creator as a magazine to be sold in both print and electronic formats, with a higher signal-to-noise ratio than mass-produced print Linux magazines. Under this model, the articles were freely licensed six weeks after the print edition's publication. As O'Reilly Media's OnLamp.com noted, Several excellent magazines cover Linux, but they're directed at particular subsets of Linux users and don't have the broad mandate of free software magazine. However, the high costs of printing and postage resulted in the magazine moving to exclusively electronic publication via PDF. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> PDF version history. Initially a print-ready, handcrafted PDF version was available for download. With issue 16, February 2007, this was withdrawn, with the publishers citing time and money constraints. As a result, the magazine is no longer available in print copy. This move sparked a harsh response from some members of the community. As a result, from March 2008, PDF and printer-friendly version of articles and PDF versions of entire issues were made available to all logged-in users. These PDF files are created automatically using Toxic and omit the styling OND presentation of the print-ready ones. Topic. Content FSM devotes most of its context to Linux, the new project and free software in general, including articles about software freedom and how it can be protected. The issues had three main sections. Power up. Non-technical articles about various subjects, interviews, opinions, book reviews, etc. User space. Articles aimed at end users. Hackers code. Technical articles about what can be achieved with free software, most of the articles are released under a free license, generally a Creative Commons license or new free documentation license. Some articles are released under a verbatim copying only license. In keeping with the move to more online content, FSM moved to blog style columns where regular authors write on more political, philosophical, and ethical aspects of the free software world, and discuss free software advocacy and community in addition to tutorials and reviews of free software. There is also a community post section which allows registered users to post similar blog style pieces. The site also features a regular webcomic, The Bizarre Cathedral. Topic. Free Software Daily Free Software Daily, FS Daily was a website originally created by the staff of FSM that posted summaries of articles about free software. At first, it was based on Slash and was similar in nature to Slash.org, however, the project died before it could gain momentum, mainly because of the huge hardware resources required by Slash and the time constraints of the FSM staff. The FSM website's blog somewhat filled the gap that Free Software Daily originally planned to fill. But later, FS Daily came back, first as a plig based site, and then as a Drig site. Drig was developed by Free Software Magazine's editor Tony Mobley specifically for FS Daily. However, Drig is now available as a standard Drupal module. Although Free Software Magazine and Free Software Daily share similar motives and a common route, they are no longer directly connected. Topic: <laughs> Free Software Magazine Press. 
In 2009, Free Software Magazine Press published their first book under the imprint of Free Software Magazine Press. The book, Achieving Impossible Things with Free Culture and Commons based enterprise by Terry Hancock, was published both as a printed book and as a series of free articles released under a attribution share alike Creative Commons license. Topic. See also Linux Journal Linux Weekly News Linux Gazette